Dude, that back break though. <laughs> this reminds me of like the old, like, like pretty kind of kung fu female characters. They're always so graceful, but like hella badass. With no effort. Look at that Karen hairstyle. <laughs> Oh my god, the graphics are so amazing. Oh, I've got like an anime boner. <laughs> ah! This is crazy cool. Oh my gosh. It's so cool seeing all these like iconic characters, obviously in the best graphic. That was so hype. No challenger! Dude. <laughs> so many liberties! Okay, Taekwondo uniform. You know what's up. Ooh! As a kicker myself, I can appreciate a character that's like kick heavy. But that's to be expected if you're, you know, for a Taekwondo practitioner. These boots were made for kicking. Dang! I like the traditional, like, Taekwondo reset. <laughs> it looks like the kicks that he's doing. I mean, they're real kicks used in fighting and Taekwondo and sparring. Technically, if you're doing a form, it wouldn't be like perfect technique because, you know, to make it more dynamic as a motion capture performer and for the video game, you want your body to offset kicks and things like that. So, like, in a real technical form, like, you wouldn't want to, like, drop your chest the way that he's dropping it when he would kick. But it looks so much more dynamic when you do that. So now having done motion capture, I understand these things now. I'm not just like wanting to always be rigid and perfect form because you have to make it very um, dynamic for the player and for the viewer as well. So it looked really great. Um, I really liked his axe kick. I don't know if he necessarily needed to drop his chest so much for like his side kicks, but his spinning hooks and stuff where he would like drop his head like below his waist, it looked really, really good. <laughs> Look at that hair! Look at that Karen hairstyle! <laughs> Speak to your manager! Dude, I want to know who did the voiceover for this. It's so good! Oh, snap! Lots of arms. Dang, Marka. Brawler. Ooh! That was really nice, the way he um, did like a, a back leg round kick, but he accentuated like the, the drag of it, so it looked really dynamic. What the thing that really stuck out to me was how powerful his arms were. A lot of really cool ball and like dirty fighting style, but that like back leg swing round kick, it looked so cool because he really arched through it, so you see this drag on his like chamber and it kicked through, so it looked, yeah, that looked super powerful. Cute, I identify the pigtails though. Okay, honey, you better get it. Cool, she's very acrobatic. So you see a lot of like flashy, kind of extreme martial arts kind of um, flips and stuff, but mixed with like a wushu style. Once you see a lot of like that fluidity, a lot of like circular movements, it's almost like dance-like. Woohoohoohoo! The poses are great. Hats off to all the motion capture performers for this, too. This is really good. It's crazy now because of how good the graphics is. You know, it's a lot less forgiving if you have bad motion capture, you can kind of tell, you know? You can see everything. It's like part of when I was doing motion capture for MK, it's like, you know, like, even like back in the day, you would breathe more for the idol. But now like that looks like you're like hyperventilating because the graphics are so good. So you gotta like breathe slower. It has to be a lot more grounded. <laughs> the legendary dragon. I love how like all the fighting games have like at least one loosely inspired character. He's the ultimate though. Ooh, nunchucks. Dang! Flex, flex on him! Cool, some gainers. Jump side. Low side, cool. He has a great um, level changer. Yo, that's the way to animate some nunchucks. That's really cool. 
Good job, oh. oh, the neck break. Dude, this is straight up Bruce Lee. Nice. That was so much fun. Fun chucks. <laughs> really curious about how they like captured the motion for Nunchuck. Like if they actually had the performer strike through things because it's like a challenging thing using Nunchucks actually as a weapon. The chuck has to be like a little bit heavier weighted for it to actually like be able to strike and hurt in real life. Cause you know, a lot of times like for forms and stuff, you use something lighter so it's faster. Right, so it looks a little bit flashier, but when you're actually using it as like a combative weapon, you want it to actually have some weight so it can do some damage. You would have to strike really hard through a target, and because like the way they capture this in the video game, it looks so fluid, right? Think about like a swinging weapon and you're hitting something. It would cause a little bit of like interruption, right, in the strike. It wouldn't just be fluid like this. So I'm curious that they actually had the performer strike through something, or because, you know, Bruce Lee is just so baller that he doesn't, it doesn't stop his swing at all. Great job on the motion capture on that. And the animators as well. New is he wearing a lion head or is he part lion? <laughs> that knee slide to point? Hey. So that's a human wearing a head dress thing. If anything, I'd be like super impressed because it's so hard to see out of, out of that and breathe in that thing. I can't imagine. Oh. Okay, so we're seeing like pro wrestling. He's a pro wrestler. Very showy. I like that one. Oh, dude, that back break though. <laughs> I need a chiropractor that's not effective. So far, everyone's had really different fighting styles, but they're all very accurate. Leroy, Leroy! Smith. <laughs> Costume design is so cool. Woo! Looks like a little Wing Chun. Jeet Kune Do. Woo! His like spinning hook kick is similar to Harang's. I wonder if they had one performer do a lot of these different characters, or they had like one capture of like a spinning hook and they just, the animators used it for a few different characters, but it looks great. Oh, that wooden punch though. Yeah, dude. That was awesome. In the crocodile pants too, with the dog. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit of like Wing Chun, Jeet Kune Do inspired style. Man, why did I always have to put girls in these like skimpy outfits? <laughs> I like her haircut though. Well, at least her boobs aren't like showing. I feel like a lot of times it's like, you know, boob jitsu and just a lot of bouncing titties everywhere. Which I guess could be a form of distraction. Oh! <laughs> Getting the heels too. Oh, that drop kick. Cool. Seems like so far a lot of the female characters have some form of like goofy with the Chinese martial art. The fluidity of it like really plays well with like feminine characters. Lots of high kicks. We're seeing level changes where she's like, you know, from a kick or a punch or a flip strike down to like a low strike down to sweeps and things of the legs. That's really cool to watch. Again, they always have the females like kicking the highest, but also in like the shortest skirts. So <laughs> like, that's not realistic. Jin. Bangarang. Ooh. His hands are very like boxer style, but his kicks are like karate, taekwondo. I'm seeing more taekwondo now. <laughs> It's the bangs for me. This is one of those characters. So, oh, I like how there's Jin and June. <laughs> Jin and Juice. That was dope. 360 axe kick. This reminds me of like the old like female, like pretty kind of kung fu female characters of old kung fu movie. They're always so graceful, but like hella badass. With no effort, just 
All the movements are so pretty. Disney princess. <laughs> Big little bird. Ooh! Look at our animation rooms! <laughs> I'm sorry I kicked your ass. <laughs> la 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 la! Oh! <laughs> the character design! That's what's up! He has like the Zondu hair with like Optimus Prime like gear. It's so sick. It's nice because you don't have like an issue differentiating between the two characters, you know, usually that are fighting on screen. Because the movements are so fast with all the special effects and stuff, it's nice to like see the, the difference of the two. They did a good job of um, capturing his movements, how he would actually move with that heavy gear on, and how big it is. Like, it looks weighted, all his movements. Oh my god, that's so unnecessary! <laughs> that big ass gun! I like how he pulled it out at the end what, after he already kicked his ass. Whoa. Woo! Side swipe! Nice sweep. Nice high front kick. Oh, a little gun foo. Is that a strong pink hand? Isn't it past your bedtime? <laughs> I like how it's just like a straight up like sword hand. The sword hand strong. 30 seconds to Lars. Dang, who's the hairstylist on this video game? I want them to do my hair. Hmm. It's hard to kind of pinpoint what his style is. It doesn't like automatically read like one specific style, but it looks really cool. Sick! <laughs> he did like a J step into like a leg sweep. I love that his style is very like mixed. You see like a bit of brawling, a bit of Taekwondo in his kicks, some karate poses, overall kick ass style. <laughs> Spirited Peacemaker! <laughs> Asuka. Not to be mixed with Ahsoka. All these girls are so friendly and nice looking. <laughs> They're so sweet. <laughs> Ooh, an elbow. Okay. Again, seeing another like Wushu inspired fighting style for the females. Like all these, the fluid movements. It just looks better on like the female fight, you know, characters when they're fighting. But it would be interesting to see like, you know, them mix it up, like Capoletta chick or like a girl that's like a brawler more so. But it looks great. I mean, obviously it translates well um, on the females. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of fun to watch. I really admire the hair. The hair looks so dope. Uh, the fighting styles were all really mixed. I liked the variety of movements between like Harang, Jin, Lars. Like you can tell they were based out of like, you know, like a hard style martial art. But at the same time, they like made the a style specifically for them. I don't judge as harshly now being a, you know, motion capture performer myself on like perfect form because you want it to look more powerful, more dynamic when you're fighting in these games or when you're playing these games. You know, when they drop their head and do these like crazy axe kicks or like the axe kick comes like behind their head and their knees are like hyper extended. It looks so good. So um, props to the animators. The graphics looks amazing. The game design looks really great. The character design is like super dope as well. Great job to everyone all around on Tekken 8. If you like this video and want to check out more, make sure to check out Gameology's YouTube and Facebook page. And you can find me on my socials at Gemasaur on Instagram and at Gemanugget on TikTok. Until next time, bye!